this committee is all about what's going on with this EV and the Liberals, what they're doing, they're filibustering. They're basically talking out the clock so nothing gets happening in the committee. Um, there's several committees looking at this, so I don't think that this filibuster plan will work. Check this out. But that also doesn't jeopardize the billions of dollars of investment that are on our doorstep. On our doorstep. There are Korean companies, Japanese companies, other companies from Germany and elsewhere that are locate, looking to locate, that are in Windsor right now, Point looking order. at land, looking at property, sorry, looking to locate sorry, here. Mr. Kusmerchuk. Yes, Mr. Perkins. Uh, uh, you, well, he's been asked a couple times by the chair to stay relevant to the issue. Just this, so I can remind the member what the issue, the issue the issue is whether or not the contracts are public or private, not a dissertation on uh, the general nature of auto business in Thanks. Windsor. Thanks, Mr. Perkins. Mr. Kuz Mirchuk, you have the floor, but. No, I appreciate it. Please, and I, I, I think. Ask that you do stick to the amendment, Mr. Chair, or at least come close to Mr. it. Mr. Chair, this is this is the absolute uh, this is the absolute heart of this debate. So them talking the clock out basically is going to eliminate any other uh, discussion or debate uh, or amendments going forward. Is the idea here? It carries on. We Check it out. Could get closer wow. to yeah. the motion at the amendment. We can always continue this one with the motion itself, but perhaps on the amendment. Mr. Thanks. Chair, not agreeing with the premise of what I'm saying is not grounds to limit my ability to address Point of this order. committee. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, you've 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 warned the member three times. I think you've been more than lenient. The usual practice I've seen in other yeah. committees. If the I member am. refuses the chair, then you move on to the next yeah. speaker. No, I'm this sure is, Mr. Kuzmirchuk will circle back to the amendment. This is this is relevant. Yeah. This is relevant, Mr. Chair. I'll tell you why this is relevant. Yeah. No, you've got the floor. Yeah, can, I have the floor, gentlemen. Mr. Kuzmirchuk, you have the floor. Please continue. But if we could please get yes, please. Go ahead. This is relevant for me because let me explain to you why it's relevant. We left our communities. We left our homes. Point of order. And Mr. Perkins. I would draw the chair's attention to page 1059 of the House of Commons Procedure and Practice Manual, which it deals with both relevance and repetition. The motion before us, or I should say the amendment to the motion, deals with a simple subject about making contracts secret. The member is nowhere near that and has been warned a number of times by the chair to be both relevant and stop repetition. And after a number of those interventions by the chair, this book and this guide that we all use says the chair should shut the member down and move on to the next speaker. Thank you for your advice, Mr. Perkins. I do have that uh, issue at my screen right now. I'm looking and I'm sure Mr. Kusmirchuk, though, will get back to That's the amendment. <laughs> in a short matter. I notice he did mention finally. I hope uh, in that case we are at that point. We do have other speakers on the list, including Mr. Sousa. So go ahead, Mr. Kuzmirchuk, but please. No, I, I appreciate that, the repetition. No, I appreciate that, the Mr. Amendment. Chair, and I'm trying to be as. Um, I had. Um, I was speaking about my meeting with Mr. Dennis Lee. So I want to remind you, dear viewer, this amendment is all about secret contracts. The government shouldn't be doing, giving out, doling out cash to companies and then making the contract secret so Canadians are unaware of how shitty, or pardon my French, how crappy uh, of a deal it really is. Um, you know, you can't blame the companies for trying to make money, but here, this is the end Board of it. Order, he looks at his notes. The member, the member is just simply reading his opening speech again, and that's repetition. Uh, that, Mr. Mr. Chair, that's not true. Okay. Uh, he's just making that up again. That's not the case here at all. I not, I don't believe he's making up. If he could just continue, but be I, I aware. Will. Of, uh, be In you, fact, sorry, I want to talk about. Allow me, to, allow me to finish. Please be aware of the repetition issue, Mr. Sousa. Please I'm very me. sensitive to that as well. And I appreciate the members' uh, concerns about that because what is repetitive is 
the fact that they have continuously misinformed and suggested that there are excessive numbers of foreign workers coming to Canada on a permanent basis and suggesting that all of the taxpayers' money is being put up front, when in fact that's not the case.